Oh, we got a tiny, a small, not tiny, but a small box from American Key Supply because I had run out of super chips on other super chips and some shells uh, and some some spacer rings. No, spacer rings come from uh, Banner. Uh, Prolock, uh, my IC annex or my, my capping block, I should say, which is an original best that uses an original best punch which they normally sell, but they are out of stock with no idea. I, I need to call them and ask them if they're planning on getting some more. But I went ahead and bought one of these Prolock uh, dump deco, blah, 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 because I, I've never had one of those. And uh, every so often you have a, a need to uh, dump them and keep the pins like they are, you know, to decode like control keys and stuff. And uh, whenever I do that, I always just carefully do it uh but this will help me not have to be so careful and also a multi-ejector punch because i've got a bunch of cores that have to be uh de-pinned de uh, and i figured hey a, a four or five punch instead of one at a time may work better so let's try it anyway that's all that's in the box i don't know why i told you everything let's just open it and see unboxing but really uh, I'm on a large project right now and I just don't really have time to be dealing with this a lot because that project doesn't have anything to do with IC core, but uh, yeah, we do need the super chip, so that's why this box is getting open, honestly. Oh, okay. You gonna, you gonna open up for me here? Okay. Ah, okay. LT 430. Don't the. Uh, did they fold those up? Damn it. Now I gotta lay them down flat. Uh, I don't know why I ordered these. Y'all saw that I got a paper punch, but nothing really beats these guys. I just wish you could get more and more colors. So I'm gonna go squeeze this between a catalog so that it will flatten out. I hate that, damn it. I'll be more careful with stuff like that. Kim's not here, box is yeah. All right, let's see this guy. We don't care about anything else, do we? The neatest thing about this is it's multicolored. It's pretty, at least in the pictures, it's pretty. Aluminum, it's an expensive aluminum block. Ooh, what do we do here? Shkaboop. So we put this in here and choop, choop, doop, doop, doop. Okay, and then we boop, boop, boop like that. How do you how do you do all this? I don't know, but there it is. Shiny. Thought there was a. I don't, I don't know how to. I don't know how to work that tool. I can figure it out. Ooh, directions. So there you go. That's a uh, new, new cap and block. Hey, fancy guy. And it's aluminum. So that's one reason why I like the best thing because, uh, yeah, it's metal, not aluminum. Okay. What else do we have here? Accessories. Uh, one sole little. Okay, I ordered four. Okay, they come individually wrapped. Never mind. All right, there's a new punch. A single punch. Whack. Punch that guy out. So there's uh, there's that. Okay, so these are uh, individual. I think I got four of each one just to round out my cams. 9201, 9201, 9201, 2017, 2017, 2017. Kind of like how they individually box them. Pretty sweet. Uh, now I have all the cams for Best, uh, Circle Plus, Ford shells, more Ford shells, 
Uh, these are interesting. I might do a whole separate video on that. Uh, there is the punch for this guy because, of course, it doesn't come with the needed materials. Of course it doesn't. Ridiculous. Interesting. Uh, more Circle Plus. Oh, two, two, a two-pack of them. Economy. Multi-pin Evictors. El Pep. Ooh, look at this. I didn't know there was two in the bag. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I didn't know it was seven either. I thought it was five. Don't ask me why I thought it was five, but... <gasps> wow! Okay. Uh, and then Super Chips. Woohoo! Big deal! Super Chips! Uh, so in case you're wondering, and I am going to do a separate video, these popped up on their website recently, and they're all not on anybody else's website. GMS FSC 2 26D. Get this, it's a dummy cap. So, from what I would guess, is you can take the plug out of a cylinder. Let's say, let's say you have, uh, let's say you don't have any dummy cylinders, but you have these, and these are very, very cheap. You could drop the plug out of a cylinder and put this cap over the front of it and then I guess pin it down or use like a gator tool if you really wanted to be technical, but you could probably just pin it down and, and make any cylinder a dummy cylinder. Stay tuned for a shorter, shorter video on that because really it's not that big of a deal. I only ordered two for video purposes because I've never seen those and when i saw it on their website it said new there was no picture now there's a picture but now there wasn't a picture then and i was like what in the heck is that for a dollar what do you mean a dummy plate never seen any of that stuff before so there we go uh yeah i'm just gonna go put these with my ic stuff put this with my transponder stuff set that aside for a video and then put this with my ic stuff so that's the star of the show I'm not impressed. I mean, I may be impressed once I start using it, but I knew it was a minimum when I ordered. I guess steel would be way more expensive. Just going from steel block to this little guy. I'm only going to use this when I need to decode, I feel like. I'm going to keep on trying to find somebody else that has one of the original lab or uh, best punches, but that'll be a good backup, you know. They're good to have a backup, especially when you're in the middle of a recan job and you're something happens and you need a backup so there we go got a backup how out of keys was jason jason was was pretty pretty out <laughs> totally out of shells totally out of chips and only have one circle plus left i'm kind of reaching over here let's go go chips right here yep okay circle plus next i'm gonna reach way over here Mm, now hold up it just felt kind of weird all right okay i like the little circle plus sign going out so you know what it is never tried these blue rocket ones before normally i get the uh ilco brown i probably i'm not gonna be happy with these uh cheaper ones but what can you do all right shells next all right there's five no dose they don't come with the uh housing they come with the housing ship housing separately in the bag so you gotta kind of assemble them okay the last five and okay not overly pleased still with those all we can do is try them there right oh got a set of magazine on top of that so here 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 and then let's bring this over there okay let's just kind of put it right now to get it out of the way we'll just set that there set that there and uh and then set those right there because they go in that box and, uh, yeah 
What's the biggest catalog to use? You line. Never order anything from these people. But it's a big ass catalog. Ha ha. Flatten. Day two. The other stuff came in. Uh. It's late in the afternoon and it's been busy as hell. They they really didn't have to send me. I could have swore, like I'm being more careful now with product ordering to make sure that it's in one location. And for some reason, these pens came separate. I didn't need the pens that bad for them to send them separately. But whatever uh yeah are we uh this is going on before tomorrow are we are we flat yet ah son of a bitch okay you, you, you go you go just like this There you are. Kim is not here. 120 pins because uh, Acme didn't have, Acme didn't have any 120 pins. So uh, unfortunately these got sent, that's just so crazy. Please don't, I'm just gonna be extra careful now. It drives me up the wall for them to ship that separately like that i could have i could have done without could have just added it to my next order from from somewhere else so i just need to be more careful uh watching where the stuff coming from okay please don't be broken so i replaced this guy i'll show you as a matter of fact because when I got them in, and obviously it broke, but when I got this in, it was already cracked. Is this on, the, which side did this go on? I think right here. All right, and you can see it was already cracked. When I got it, it was actually split, kind of like that. Uh, please don't be broken, please don't be broken, please don't be broken. And I need to be very careful with this. I just had it thrown in my toolbox. They were already that, but apparently I hit it or something or dropped a battery on it and it broke the posts off. Uh, I guess when that goes in the hole, peep, lines them up better. Okay, so yeah, I'm just gonna be super gentle with that, but I'm glad that there are no cracks already in it. So that's, that's good. Uh, okay, got some retail stuff. DA 34 P's. Couple of bags, 10 of them. Wrist coils. Wrist, oh, the phone. Wrist coil. Wrist coils everywhere. Let me grab the phone. Thank you. Wrist coils at the kazoo. Uh, yay. Um, okay, there's a loose cylinder. <laughs> where did you? Where did your box go? Uh, oh, L A cylinders. Where did your? Oh, yeah. I guess I did order. I guess I did order twelve of them and ten come in one box. So. Uh, Two had to go off on their own. Inch and an eight, Sergeant and LA 26D. There you got a couple of them. 12. Oh, oh, oh. Stay there. Uh, but we are missing the cam. Can I? Oh, there's the keys. It's okay though. All right, so keys, keys, keys. You go over here 
And uh, so these guys, you know, I've never ordered GMS before and I saw these and these are cheaper than the Ilco. Let me do a whole separate video uh, on these rings because they are actually metal and they're uh, cheaper than the uh, the finish matches better. You can't really tell because of the shade that we got going on. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna start discontinuing my Ilco aluminum rings because this with the uh, 26D finish, the metal and metal looks really good compared to the aluminum guy that you get from Ilco bags of them that are literally just as expensive but when you take this guy off and put this on it looks really good compared to the aluminum version of that so yeah i'm phasing out my ilco spacer rings to uh to use these and the bag came up with haha there's my cam so just fyi probably do a whole separate video on it master 1092m that's kind of an oddball set these spacer rings and then i got some uh 26d these are used on the aluminum style cylinders but these would actually come in handy as well so yeah that uh a pack of uh, sugar skull and schlage because we're out of those <sighs> marks 197 this is a thumb turn conversion kit that goes with this lock This is how this lock comes. So basically, instead of using a key on the inside, you would have this thumb turn that attaches to this guy. All right? And that's kind of what this is. So what I'll be able to do is if I run up on any one of the double cylinder versions, which is popular around here, and it's for, if it's for a HUD rental, it has to be a single cylinder. So this is the conversion mechanism for that, but that's, covers up where the cylinder is, activates that, because the reason is, is because if you try to use a thumb turn cylinder, what will happen is the thumb turn cylinder is allowed to rest in any position and it jams up when you try to use the key from outside and the thumb turn is turned on the mortise lock on the inside. What happens ew, is uh, that cam will be sticking down and then on the other side when you try to throw it, it'll jam it up. In fact, the directions specifically say that that will happen uh, and it does happen so we've got to go either a put in this new lock tomorrow morning or put in the conversion kit i think it's probably going to be time for a whole new lock in the meantime we've got a bunch of uh of uh, wrist coils that we get to price huh why do i why am i not seeing much consistency here what's going on with the uh colors Your fingers, watch your fingers, they all look the same. Is this a standard thing now? So you got what, one of every one? Yep, one of every one. All right, so that means we got three packs, so that's uh, three of every one. I guess that's one good way to do it. You need to check the price, but I'm pretty sure the prices are the same what they always have been. Because we did change the price at the beginning of the year, so it should still be holding steady. Alright. How? Oh, look at that funny, funny green. So two pinks. Funny green, too funny, like a yellow, and a regular green. What is up? Why is that? Why is there a? It's like white green. Okay. Tons of pinks. Do we have? Uh, do 
We have pinks up there. Some green, yellow. Okay, that's a good mix. We got at least three of everything, looks like. Some green, even new, new, a new, new color. There we go. There we go. We got plenty of pink. All right. Okay. Hmm. These really need to go up. Oh my god! I've got so many yellow ones already. I've even kind of spread them out. That's the neons, and then the regular the three reds. Got some neon. Oh, another yellow. Oh, oof, good grief. Okay. Hmm. Let's move you down. I think I'm going to need the room. Actually, you can come over here. <laughs> ah, a deep priced. And uh, going to adjust the pricing up and put these on sale because I have a bunch of neon yellow so these are going up to 345 including the newest ones and then i'm going to have one row of uh of discounted ones they'll sell out pretty quick Ooh, big empty spot mm -hmm. you might wonder why i buy those individually carded uh i was doing it before the whole you know covid thing i don't buy like 12 of a particular color it's because they send them bulk not sealed and especially now, people think, like, we had trouble selling them because they were just, we had to bag them up individually. But even so, it's not like manufacturing new packaging. Uh, so that's why we do them individually for those. Perhaps. You never know until you, you try and then get stuck with them forever because nobody wants to buy them because they think they're used. Oh, Mount Boxmore is doing much better. I'm starting to... Starting to go. I took several boxes home and then missed garbage pickup. So they're sitting out. Uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to take one more round before the next garbage pickup and get rid of that. Get that. Yeah. I happen to have all my pens out at the moment. Convenient. Uh, I don't care about these right now, so... Ah! Why, Jason, the hell? What? I think I was supposed to order the metal head, not the rubber head. You know what? We're going all rubber head. That's the way you get it now. Phasing out DA34 metal. Because I had trouble cutting them. Had somebody's key and made a copy of it, and then uh, none of them would work. Like four of them didn't work. It may have been a bad batch because of, then I cut it and it worked perfectly the first time on a rubber head. So I don't know what the hell was that. Um, I was going to get 20 of these, but I decided we don't really sell them a whole lot. They're pretty they're pretty slow movers, so we're just going to put. I mean, oh, let's hang these up. Shit. Keep one back. They literally go to one, well, one or two master products only, bike bike locks, which we do sell, but not often. So there we go. We do have these keys to put up. Where was I gonna put them up? Where that soccer ball is. This is our Schlage only board. Oh, and we'll come down here. Yep, yep, and uh, put it right there. I only ordered three, so the problem is, is I had had them sitting down here in the quick set because I really don't have room to put these quick set ones in them. I was kind of hoping to get rid of them, but every so often, uh, which is actually not every so often, but somewhat frequently, we get people that want one of those, uh, especially when they see that, and then if they see them sitting down here, 
uh, they're like, oh, I need, I want that, but my key's a Schlage, and do I have, do I have any cowboy boots in Schlage? No, I don't. Uh, you can see, since we did that direct order, we are absolutely ready to restock on the design keys too. So that will be, I've got a lot of holes going here. Uh, and a lot of them that are like only two left. We went through the solid colors super quick. So we're gonna order 25 of, of the uh, popular solid color ones. The uh, orange and whatever other color went immediately, like was gone, poof. So yeah, we're gonna order a bunch of those. And uh, queen keys, as always go, probably end up ordering a box of those as well. So yeah, this order will end up being several hundred dollars worth. Uh, I gotta price you guys, don't I? Yes, you do. You know, I don't know if it's the pack rat in me or not, but in a way, this can still be used, you know? It just doesn't have the nice neural bushing, but this could still go in a hole and you could still just draw a circle right there. It's still a guide of some kind. Maybe I'll keep it and get rid of this though. Metal and plastic. I want to recycle it, but it's got plastic around a nut. Oh, maybe I should cut that bearing out. This definitely looks like a metal bit or bob. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to keep it. I mean, it still could be used as a marker. All right. Day three. Day three. It's the next morning. I'm. I'm. Got to do this. I got to get out of the shop by. Uh, at minimum eight fifteen, and it's seven thirty ish right now. So I got to set up, get those priced, get my spacer rings where they're supposed to be because I may need them today. Uh, and, uh, I got another order coming in, which is basically just sergeant keys. Uh, they had to come from a different spot. Now that's different. I can understand that getting shipped from a different spot because I needed 150 of them. Uh, I just find it weird. Three, three different boxes. I don't know. Anyway, that's, that's what I'm doing this morning. And then I got to rush out and the new, new box won't be until later, but really I don't need those sergeant keys quite yet. I'll need them tomorrow. This is what's left of 150 so far. So I've already gone through 130-ish keys. Uh, so I will need those today. Uh, and then I gotta go put this on as well. So yeah, busy day. And uh, day two, are we flat yet? No, we're poking up right there. I can already see it better but that is a permanent poke up how how am i gonna fix that damn it more pressure <laughs> yeah I'm not 100% sure whether I'm getting something from him or not, but we just got uh, from another unidentified truck that came roaring through and dropped this off to me. We got my sergeant keys. So yeah, maybe some Amazon crap. I don't know, we'll see. Kim left before I had a chance to get this packing slip to her. Kim! She, she actually doesn't hear me. She, packing slip's not really even for her. The invoice thing is. Oh, a couple of padlocks too. Hey, orange. Somebody bought my orange ones, so I just had to uh, restock. I actually have a few padlocks that I need to uh, tend to in the 1105s never come with uh, security wafers, so we do have to take these out anyway and add them. So we'll go ahead and pull those out. Oh, okay. Dunk. And 150 LA keys. 
that are all gonna be cut soon. Now, is he? He's bringing a box back with him. That's kind of weird. Late in the day here. Come with me. Let's put them uh, right here. Because they gotta get stamped. Bye, UPS. I didn't have anything for me. That's okay. I didn't want to buy. I didn't want to unbox anything else anyway. Hmm. Damn inflation. I'm sitting over here filming one video and and I had no idea that he brought in a huge humongous stack of stuff. I was I was doing my thing here. I'm rearranging this and I'm not happy with how it is, so I'm gonna have to re rearrange it, but. Um, Kim's just like, bring bring what, what comes in home, because it's all it all belongs at the house. And I'm like, okay. If I'm as a USB fan, then I'm hoping we'll work for the uh, computer. Kim's all like, it all belongs at the house. Toner? Really? Toner doesn't belong at the house. So out of all that, the only thing I got cool was a USB fan. Now I don't even know how it's gonna work, but it's got a pretty wood base. I only thought the unboxing was done, even though it was the longest unboxing ever, but another another box showed up. I don't, I don't even know what's in that one. Like, as far as I know, the order is complete. Like, uh, everything that I ordered is, uh, is here. It has already come, so I don't know what this is. Let's see. Oh, uh, I guess everything wasn't. Uh, interesting. Four locations. I was not prepared for that. So these came from yet another location. Uh, and in fact, I really am only using them for video purposes. Well, I mean, I'll be able to sell them because they're perfectly good knobs. But I noticed that Master did have a tulip knob shape. So I wanted to do a video on a OOG killer. <laughs> oh, an OOG from Acme, uh, from IDN, Oogs were always our go-to for Tulip, but they've got Antigrass Master, and Oogs aren't, to my knowledge, available here anyway through our IDN in Antigrass. So, yeah, I guess stay tuned for a future video on that. Uh, me anyway, you didn't have to send those. That's why I forgot about them, because it was no big deal. Didn't really need them. I'll be able to sell them, but watch me sell them before I can do a video. Now it is finally, finally over. An all week long unboxing. That's lo the longest unboxing video I've ever done. Anyway, that's it. New shoes, the same shoes that I always wear, except new. <laughs>